Development partners are currently having running commitments towards both government and private sector-led hydro energy projects worth nearly 2 trillion shillings. They are, however, raising concern over the fast reducing water levels across project areas and those where feasibility studies are being conducted on hydropower production. And in fact, strongly believe that all the objectives of the project will be achieved for the benefit of all Ugandans. We also hope it will help Uganda to participate in the reduction and the adaptation to climate change. The signing of the financing agreement for the 44.7 megawatt Musizi hydropower project in Kibale district worth 110 million euros with joint financing from France and Germany has had this emphasis on the impact of climate change to the project being underscored. The project will contribute to a sustainable growth pattern for the country and save 123,000 tons of CO2 emissions by replacing diesel generators. The project will generate enough electricity to supply about 1 million people in Uganda with clean electricity. When completed around the year 2020, the Musizi hydropower project will be fed into the national grid via the proposed Hoima Fort Porto Kenda 220 kV transmission line. I've told you that's where I come from. My worry is that people are cultivating almost right up to the banks of the river. And what is happening now? The river is getting silted. If we are not careful sooner than later, this dam will become a white elephant because water will just disappear. Reina Ojon, NTV Business.